We've heard little tidbits of how Axl Rose and Slash reunited over the last six years for the Not In This Lifetime tour. And a lot of them have come from Slash doing interviews to promote his projects with Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. Slash is out promoting his fourth album with the Conspirators, appropriately titled Four. And I've seen him on Jimmy Kimmel. He did a live performance on Howard Stern's YouTube channel and for the SiriusXM app. And I've also seen him interviewed on Loudwire. Well, he also gave an interview to the Wall Street Journal where the top hatted guitarist shed some more light on how things went down between him and Axel when they first started talking after nearly two decades in 2015. Slash would tell the Wall Street Journal, Axel's always been great to work with, but there were also times when things were really, really difficult. That hasn't presented itself in the last six years. He's been super, super effing professional and less moody than me even. And I'm not a moody guy, he'd say. One of the new tidbits of information we got is how the two started talking once again. Slash would claim years before him and Axel started talking, he sent in a request to the Guns N' Roses camp asking about the Use Your Illusion documentary that was filmed for nearly two and a half years that hasn't seen the light of day. Slash would say, I was talking to Guns N' Roses management about making sure all that stuff was intact, and then I'd thrown out the idea. It'd be great to find a producer to put this together as a film. Slash claimed that when he was in Peru in the spring of 2015 touring with the Conspirators, he got a message from Axel saying he wanted to talk. This led to them clearing the air, and Slash was soon invited over to Axel's house for a home-cooked steak dinner, with the guitarist adding, over time and lack of communicating and gossip in the media, all the stuff sort of built up with the storm of negativity, but it was like a cloud. You could stick your hand through it. One of the things Axel wanted to get off his chest was a bunch of material he'd recorded, so we thought, well, that's a good way to get our feet wet. Whether we'd see an official strategy for releasing new music, Slash would say, there are no cut and dried answers, it's Guns N' Roses. He would also state that the discussion between him and Axel moving on from their past beef was pretty quick. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. We'll see you again on Guns N' Roses Central. Take care.